Right, so I've got raised wheels, I paint them pink. Although she doesn't want pink, she wants orange, but I've got some pink paint. So, first of all, let the tie down. Then you unscrew it. And then you take the bearings out. Right, when you paint the wheels, so you split them in two. So you're going to paint the faces, but you don't need to do all of them because the ones that push off the drive gear, if you paint it, it's just going to push the paint straight off. Just put it on and off. So you want to just leave them black or whatever colour your wheels are. So when you take a split, just choose what or what. Paint I am now going to wash these lovely things because they're dirty. It's probably goose poop I'm going to make. No, that's probably off the tyres on the hands and on the table. <coughs> I'm just going to wash them with some washing up liquid, but just make sure they're fully dry before you start painting. I'm going to blow them off when I get to work so they're dry. I'm just taking the worst of it off. With an airline. Dry oh, now. I actually can use oh, oh, you, you could use a hair dryer. I've helped. Use a hair dryer, that dry them off but they need to be completely dry before you paint them. Otherwise the rubber paint will not stick. Right, so these are now dry. Just blowing them off. I'm gonna paint them with this. Um, Ray wanted orange, but I've only got pink. So I just thought I'd use it up. And then um, I'm gonna put gloss over the top. Right, give it a good shake. Right, first coat really light. Right. I need that for 10 minutes, then do a second quick light coat and then you can start putting them a little bit heavier. It's like a primer coat. Pink's done, and now I've got to put the gloss on. It's not really high gloss, it's more of a satin. Right, let's put them together. Right, so this would be a back well because it's unpainted on the inside and painted on the outside. But you've got to make sure you've got your little knobbly bits. Knobbly bits. There you go. Yeah, knobbly bits. Not knobbly bits. Yeah. 
Yep. Male and female. <coughs> so then you've got, that's got to be the back, make sure the valve is pointing forward. And there's, there's a groove where the valve goes through. Got that? Yep. So you push that in there. Put your bolts in. Carefully not to chip the paint. Eh? Yeah, no, that's the thing. If you push them in first, right down, then it won't chip the paint, otherwise it does. It burrs it. <laughs> Slippery buggers. So then you line that up with the, um, the valve again. I'm sure you can't hear the kids in the background. See, look at that, it's not that nice. Put the drill on your weakest setting as well if you're using a drill. Right, and then when you tighten it up, just make sure that you're not catching the inner tube. I, I can't say you're catching the inner tube. Right, so after you tighten it up with the drill, I never use it on full speed, just do the rest by hand, just to make sure they're tight. Putting the bearings back on, so you put the bearing in, space around. They are quite tight because of the paint. And if you use your nut, gently tighten it and pull the bearings into place. Just do it till it stops, don't over tighten. Don't skate.